Hi everybody. So our story today is, it's actually a very special story to me because when I was your age, um, my mummy used to read this book to me and it's so old, it's actually falling apart a wee bit. So I took it into my class when I was your age and my teacher, Mrs. Kebble, read the story and we all loved it so much that she read it twice. So I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I did. Now, I know a few of you have had a few wobbly teeth recently, so you need to listen very carefully if you've got wobbly teeth, because it might give you some good advice. So it's called The Tooth Fairy by Audrey Wood. Mother, come quick, I've pulled a tooth. Matthew, dear, how wonderful. Tell me about the tooth fairy again, please. Oh dear, it looks like his sister is not very happy that Matthew has lost a tooth. She's pulling his, her tongue out at him. Every night, the tooth fairy flies about with her basket of goodies. Put your tooth under your pillow and she will swap it for some treasure. Matthew's thinking of all the treasure that the tooth fairy might bring. Good night, children. Sweet dreams. It's not fair. I want treasure too. And I'm going to get some. She's not very happy. But Jessica, you know the tooth fairy can't swap your treasure unless you lose a tooth. Don't worry about the tooth fairy. I'll show her who's boss. I wonder where she's going. Aha! Just what I need. A kernel of sweet corn. A little paint makes it look like a real tooth. <laughs> that should do the trick. It won't work, Jessica. Night night, Matthew. Jessica, wake up. Poof. Oh no, I've shrunk. Wake up, Matthew. You've shrunk too. Jessica, what have you done now? Greetings, children. I'm the Tooth Fairy. Look what I found under your pillows. She's holding the teeth or the fake teeth as well. It worked. <laughs> she thinks the corn is my tooth. Why do you swap treasure for teeth? Oh, I'll show you. Just hold my hands and I'll say the magic words. Loose tooth away. Ooh, welcome to the Tooth Fairy's Palace. It's made up of lots and lots of teeth. Bridges, walls, towers, all made of teeth. Every night, we tooth elves build a little more. This is the hall of perfect teeth. Only the cleanest and brightest teeth go here. So there are the elves building their wall. And there is the hall of perfect teeth. My perfect tooth, says Matthew on there. I suppose my tooth will go there too. Come on, Jessica, this one needs work. All dirty yellow teeth must go to the tooth dungeon. Ooh. We 
robot cleaners boil them in the bubbling bath, then we scrub them until they shine like stars. Now we will clean Jessica's tooth. Uh-oh. But it's not a real tooth. What's going to happen next? Ring, ring, ding, ding. This, your tooth is a fake. We must put you in jail. <gasps> Hurry, children. The robots don't like tricks. Quick, you'll be safe here. Now, up the slide, it's time for you to leave. I should never have done it. Cheer up, Jessica. I'm sure you'll, lo you'll lose a real tooth soon. And you'll still swap me treasure? Of course. And you'll put my tooth in the hall of perfect teeth like Matthew's? Oh, I won't know until I see it. Goodbye, children. Say the magic words as you go down the slide. Loose tooth away. Ooh, that looks like lots of fun. Jessica, wake up, it's morning. The tooth fairy left me some treasure. Don't be sad. Here, have a bite of my apple. Crunch. Mother, come quick. I've got a loose tooth. Shall I tell you about the tooth fairy again? Her mum said. You don't need to, mother. I know all about it. This one is going to the hall of perfect teeth. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. And remember, look after your teeth, oh, your teethy pegs. Give them a good brush tonight and you never know, your tooth might make it to the hall of perfect teeth. Right, I will see you all soon. Bye for now.